What's up everyone, it's no secret that Ethereum has been hitting all time highs and it's only going up from here. We'll dive into the latest on Ethereum and how Ethereum may surpass Bitcoin both in power and price potentially. Before we get to it, like and subscribe to the channel with those push notifications turned on so you don't miss a video and can stay up on the latest info here. So Vitalik Buterin, a 27-year-old Russian-Canadian programmer, created Ethereum in 2013 when he was just 19 years old. The cryptocurrency launched in 2015, and now Buterin holds about 333,500 Ether in his public wallet. I'll give you guys my latest Ethereum price target, news, and what's to come for this sizzling hot crypto that's fighting to rise to the largest coin in the world. In 2021 alone, Ether has quadrupled in price. The volatility and price increase is literally insane, guys. If you were to put your stimulus check toward Ethereum, your gains would be much better than if you were to put that same check into Bitcoin. Don't get me wrong, I love both Bitcoin and Ethereum, but this year's gains from Ethereum are no joke. Ether and Bitcoin account for nearly two thirds of the entire $2.3 trillion global crypto market. Obviously, it's no secret that crypto really continued to explode as Coinbase went public at a valuation of $86 billion. There are definitely gains to be had with other altcoins as well. In my own experience, I'm up more than 5,000% on Dogecoin, which is incredible. I personally don't see great value in Dogecoin as a project. I think it can be great and make you a lot of money. It's not pointless, but it can be just a fun entry point into crypto, especially if you just want to have fun and you're willing to lose what you put in. I'm also a fan of Cardano, Polkadot, and Chainlink. But on to Ethereum, because if you're going to buy crypto, Ethereum is your best bet. Obviously, you know, you diversify your crypto if you can, but if you have to choose one, yeah, ETH is the way to go. People always talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin maximalists will tell you it's the best. And while it is digital gold, Ethereum is actually used a lot more than Bitcoin. Ethereum is kind of like a computer in a way, and ETH is the crypto exchange. Some people compare Ethereum to the App Store because Ethereum blockchain is used for data storage and smart contracts, which power and build decentralized applications like DeFi apps and NFTs. Some people even believe that Ethereum can give AWS, the Amazon web hosting system, a run for its money. Similar to Ethereum, AWS is a data and cloud service network, which many S&P 500 companies use to host their own sites, such as Netflix and Twitch. But AWS is private and Ethereum is like AWS, but it is decentralized. So businesses can build on top of the Ethereum network, which can increase the market cap and ultimately the coin. Ethereum network is stronger than Bitcoin. I believe Ethereum has the potential to surpass Bitcoin in market cap, and I'm not alone. But more importantly, let's talk about Ethereum 2.0. That's all the buzz right now. It was launched in 2020, and the changes are still being rolled out. Investors agree that there are several benefits to Ethereum 2.0. First, it could make Ethereum even faster. Investors say the changes could allow several thousand more transactions per second on the blockchain. And with EIP 1559, there's no doubt that we'll see Ethereum hit new record highs in the near future. This will increase its value because EIP 1559 will establish the market rate for block inclusion and it'll burn the majority of the ETH in the transactions fee, causing the supply to go down, and that will obviously build up the demand. We've all heard about Bitcoin and how there will only be 21 million Bitcoins mined. There's that cap, and Ethereum doesn't have one. It's currently inflationary, but now if a small percent of the coin is burned, that creates a more limited supply and stabilizes the coin. Before the end of 2021, my low price target for Ethereum is $10,000. And my high price target is $20,000. And if we don't hit $20,000 by December 2021, I definitely think we could see it around March or April of 2022. Mark Cuban, entrepreneur extraordinaire, believes Ethereum could reach 20 k too, so I'm not alone. Listen, we are still in the early days of crypto overall here, and a key advantage or change to a coin's technology can intrigue investors and adopters enough to make a coin moon. So let's look at some other uses of Ethereum. We can't talk about it without going
going deeper into NFTs, those non-fungible tokens. Ethereum Surge can be credited to the fact that it is the cryptocurrency of choice for purchasing many non-fungible tokens. So that could be digital artwork and other collectibles that are transformed into one-of-a-kind verifiable assets that are easy to trade on the blockchain. I'm sure you've all heard about the popular artist, NFT artist Beeple by now, who has become incredibly rich because of NFTs. And I think this is an area that is really underappreciated. And while some believe we are in an NFT bubble, I think this is only the beginning and we haven't seen it yet. The next few months promise to be very exhilarating and very important for Ether as its recent all-time highs above 3,500 put an even bigger spotlight on this crypto and its smart contract blockchain, Ethereum, which is just amazing technology. As the crypto markets continue to grow into 2021, both Bitcoin and a host of other blockchain projects and tokens have soared in value. One thing to note about crypto before you get into it in general, obviously do your own research, read the white paper of the project, you know, learn about the creators of the project, what its purpose is, everything you can because crypto is so volatile and decentralized. And here's the thing, some cryptos that are here now might not exist tomorrow. They could literally disappear. And I do believe Bitcoin and Ethereum are here for the long term. But something like SafeMoon, don't I'm not I'm not insulting SafeMoon. I'm just saying it for example. Maybe in a year, two years from now, it might not exist even. It might not even be here. So all the money you put toward it could just be gone. In the short term, I wouldn't be surprised if we see ETH hit $5,000 by July. Honestly, right now when we look back and see above $3,500, we'll be like, wow, that was only the beginning. This will be something to watch closely as we could see a quickly skyrocket from there. And I definitely think NFTs are here to stay. I even bought my own NFT off the NBA Top Shot, which is really cool. They are um, collectible basketball moments. So it's kind of like a basketball card, but in an NFT, it's pretty cool. Um, so I'm having a lot of fun in this world. So comment down below, do you hold Ethereum? Do you have any NFTs? Have you sold any NFTs as well? Are you buying more Ethereum? Uh, I wanna hear it all. So that's all we have today. Catch me next time.